about um, um, having a baby fear, we're providing advice and information to families that are expecting babies or that are, um, have got children under one. And the idea behind it is that there's lots of information and advice around and it's whether people know where to access that information. We wanted to use a really um, a good community hub where we knew that people came on a regular basis where they could come and access um, advice and information um, in a non-threatening environment. As, as a children's centre on the East Marsh, we know that some parents find it difficult to come into the centre first time, and that could be through their own anxieties, never been in before. So what we're trying to do is just to try, trying to promote what children's centres have to offer um, to, to, to parents um, in their community. Today is about promoting all those local services and organisations in North East Lincolnshire that support um, early years development, um, particularly around the breastfeeding agenda. We've got the infant feeding coordinator and breastfeeding midwife here from the hospital, um, family information service, trying to sign families up and direct them to activities and services across North East Lincolnshire, uh, a dietitian advising on weaning sessions, um, one of some of the children's centre staff here t talking about um, some of the activities they run, such as um, baby massage sessions. Um, we've got some other organisations um, that are linked to the children's centres, a group of mothers that are taking pictures um, of children um, and more information on the Baby Life Check project which is an online child development um, form for five to eight months. So there's lots and lots of good things going on today and lots of opportunities to speak to staff and professionals if they're worried or need signposting services. I've spoken to a lot of people today who are really interested, who want to be uh, producing their own foods for babies, um, been talking to them about the benefits of homemade foods um, and encouraging them to come along to the children's centres where we can do a practical weaning session with them so they can learn some recipes, take the recipes home with them from the sessions um, and introduce those foods both to the babies and for themselves. We've had loads of people today who have came to the, the Baby Fair event who are now we've been promoting the Children's Centre service. Hopefully this will lead to them coming into the centre. So it's just been another way that we've been able to engage with families in the wider community really. There's been a whole host of people come today. It's been very, very busy. Um, we've directed them and got new people signed up to the Children's Centres, um, people that didn't even know about the Healthy Start scheme and also been promoting the welcoming breastfeeding venues in North East Lincolnshire as well. So we've launched that directory today so people have been getting a lot of information and finding out lots about what's going on in North East Lincoln. It's been absolutely fantastic today. We've had such a fantastic turnout. We started, started at 10 o'clock this morning and we've had, uh, I wouldn't say a steady stream, I'd say we've been inundated with people right from this morning. We've not stopped, we've been rushed off our feet. It's really fantastic that we've got a group of parents from Broadway Children's Centre that attended a uh, photography course and from that photography course they've set up their own business in professional photography so they've joined us today and they're offering free photos to all parents that come. I've been giving demonstrations here today of baby massage, I've been demonstrating the leg routine and the face routine but also in the course we cover the arms, the chest, the stomach and the back. Now obviously with the leg routine this helps to help relax the baby, it helps with the joints because they become a lot more flexible, it tones the muscles in the legs, it helps with the circulation um, and the face routine, that helps like especially around if the child's got a cold and the nose is really runny, um, it helps with teething. Um, and it helps getting some children used to having their face being touched because a lot of babies don't like the faces being touched to start with. Weaning is when baby's ready to move from milk and onto solid foods. We recommend now waiting until the baby is six months old because at that stage the baby's intestines are ready to um, accept the foods and under six months there are some foods that we know can, uh, can cause problems later on in life with ill health. If you do want to wean before six months, please ask for advice on foods to avoid. From six months, we can start to move on to things like baby rice, things like fresh uh, pureed fruit and vegetables. And these fresh foods will give baby a really wide range of tastes. Babies fed on fresh foods are far less likely to be fussy eaters when they get older. You'll save an absolute fortune as well. These are some foods that I made um, in the kitchen at the children's centre yesterday. 
This particular jar I bought for 62p. It is a, a pear and apple pudding. This jar is exactly the same amount and actually cost me 28p. It's a big, big saving there. And those savings go right across all the foods. So not only are we giving the baby the fresh foods, we know exactly what's in them. We're saving a lot of money as well. And your child will be a lot less fussy as they grow up. What we've also um, tried try to encourage is that we are using Freeman Street Market. We have the stall holders and uh, businesses that operate here week in, week out. So not only have we come today to um, organise and, and, and celebrate a baby fair, we've wanted to come and promote other, other um, businesses and organisations. So we've worked really hard with, with Freeman Street Market to ensure that all the, all the market stall holders know what's going on and they've really got behind the event and we've had um, Ruth's Cafe offering reduced price coffee and cakes for, for families. We've had the, the fish stall um, offering reduced price fish for, for families, fruit and veg stalls, as I say, doing the healthy start vouchers and providing us with some free strawberries for today's event. So we've, we've, got, we've got behind them and in turn they've got behind us, so it's been a real successful day.